Acting as the glue between all of the parts of the drum kit, the hi-hat is a vital component that is often overlooked. A small diaphragm condenser like this ATM450 offers the brightness and detail to properly capture the complex sound of a hi-hat. Unlike a more traditional end address small condenser like this AT4041, the ATM450 offers a unique side address design which allows for more placement options. Either way, make sure the diaphragm is pointed at the source. Placing the mic on the outside edge of the hi-hat helps to isolate the mic from the rest of the kit while keeping it out of the drummer's way. Make sure the mic is high enough to clear the top cymbal when it's open. Aiming the mic straight down or even off the edge maximizes the off-axis rejection provided by the mic's cardioid pickup pattern. If the mic has a low frequency roll off like the ATM450, this can be used to further reduce the bleed from the kick and the toms. This mic placement should produce a nice full sounding hi-hat. For a tighter, more controlled sound, move the mic more towards the bell. For a real heavy hitter, you may have to move it up to keep the hi-hats under control. One thing to avoid is having the mic parallel to the cymbals pointed directly at the edge like we have here. The large amount of air expelled when the cymbals close can overload or even damage the diaphragm of a small condenser. With these techniques, you can achieve just the hat sound you're looking for. On the stage or in the studio, Audio-Technica has you covered.